Many cyclists have a niche, a strength, something that they excel in. That could be climbing, sprinting, or time trialing. And that's not only true for us cyclists, but also in the pro peloton as well. We have the pure sprinters that have that top end speed, but we also have the climbers that climb up mountains like they're absolutely nothing. But there are a handful of cyclists that are really good all round cyclists. They excel in everything. Imagine being good at everything. But these cyclists are like gold dust. Not many of them exist. And off the top of my head, we don't have one here at GCN. I mean, we all have our strengths, don't get me wrong, but we also have a lot of weaknesses. I mean, Ollie's strength is climbing, Alex is sprinting, Sai's great at the technical stuff, Hank is great at repeated efforts, Connor's good at just being tall, I guess, and Dan, just beer. But I have found one extraordinary all-round cyclist out here at the first ever Women's UAE Tour, Elisa Longo Bolgini. And today I'm going to have the opportunity to chat to her and find out everything it takes to be one of the best in the business. Let's go find her. But before we get into the video, let me just run through her palmares. She's a rider for the Trek Segafredo women's team. She's been on the podium twice at the Olympic Games. She's had four podiums at the World Championships. She's been a European champion and a multiple national Italian champion. And how could I forget? She's a Paru Bay winner too. First of all, when did you realize that cycling was gonna become your career? Um, I've been asking to my family uh, like three years uh, back in 2012 to try to become good in cycling and uh, if it did, would not work out I would have gone back to university and study uh, and then um, yeah I'm here talking to you so this it went pretty well yeah it went quite <laughs> right yeah <laughs> and you are such a great like all-rounder in cycling and when I was riding I was an okay sprinter but I was terrible at climbing and all that how how did you become like such a good rider in everything and when did you realize that you're quite good at everything um, well this this is a question uh, I can hardly answer because I don't really know. Um, the only thing I know is that I'm not fast, which is mm, like... I'm not sure about that. <laughs> well, I'm not the fastest, let's be honest. Um, I, I think generally I have a good, a good endurance and then uh, I try to work a little bit on my strength, which is mostly climbing on a very steady pace. <laughs> but do you ever feel like the pressure to be just really good at one thing? Because there's lots, quite a lot of riders that, you know, are just really strong sprinters or really strong climbers. Do you ever feel the pressure just to be good at one thing? Mm, no, so far I think I'm an okay rider this way. So um, You're happy I'm, with how I'm it's going. I'm content with yeah. this. Uh, also because if I'm good in a little bit of everything, I can help my teammates in like the specialist in something. And so I can, I can be a good asset for the team. And for me, it's important that too. So you've been a rider in the Pro Peloton at the very highest level for 10 years now. How do you keep yourself motivated from season to season? Because 10 years is quite a long time to know. Keep going right at the top. Yeah, now you make me feel old. <laughs> um, well, I don't know, actually. I'm always really motivated. Every single season that I start, I feel like it's a new one and I feel like a little bit nervous because I, yeah, I want to be a little bit better than the, than the, the season before. And then, I don't know, I think I just, I'm just really passionate about cycling and this keeps me always motivated. Would you say you're just as motivated as, you know, your first or second season as you are now? I would say yes. Yeah? Oh. <laughs> Another interesting question is, how does your training differ from season to season? Because, you know, you are a great all-rounder, but does your training for the year depend on, you know, what races you're going to target or what your teammates' strengths are? Yeah, surely my, my trainings are different, are different in every, almost in every single season, but especially because I target some races or some periods where I want to be good. So, of course, 
as every rider, I start with really base rides and everything, but then I I schedule my my trainings in terms of being good in a certain moment of the of the year. Uh, sometimes it's the beginning, and sometimes it's mostly uh, the middle end of the of the year. But I I do have an attentive eye on what is what are my my goals and I set my goals and then I plan my 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 trainings together with my coach. Nice. And you used to win a lot of races solo, but recently we've seen you working a lot on your sprint. How much have you been working behind the scenes on your sprint? Um, yeah, it's true. Um, honestly, you know, sprinting at down signs with your boyfriend really helps. <laughs> Is that the secret? <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's the truth. Um, um, we, together with my with my trainer, we are working a little bit on the sprint, of course. But then, uh, when I go out with Jacopo, we always sprint at town on signs. So, I would say that this helps a lot. <laughs> I was going to ask, like, how do you go about, you know, improving something in that you want to in cycling and aspect? But is it just about going out there and having fun and sprinting for town signs? Or do you need to, you know, have all these efforts scheduled in to do um, them? If I don't have, if I don't enjoy a ride, then I don't train. Uh, you know, I, I, I love cycling and I love going out and having fun, even though when you have those boring intervals, you know? But in the end, I always come home with a smile. And uh, when I'm with Jacopo, I have tons of, tons of fun because he's really silly, like me, <laughs> on the bike. And uh, we always try to out-sprint each other or we try some strategies to out-sprint each other. He always win. Yeah, I have to say he's I was going to ask, ask who wins. <laughs> it's, oh, obviously. You need to change that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I can't do anything about it. Uh, he's also fast and he, he's, a, he's a man, so yeah, you, you can't do anything. But um, yeah, sometimes um, when he doesn't know where the town sign is, I can also win. Yeah, true. I just <laughs> to win after the corner. <laughs> yeah. Um, for a cyclist that wants to, you know, be an all-rounder, improve everything. What advice or tips would you give them? Um, I think the general, uh, the general base is really important for an all-rounder. And then uh, um, I think you, you burn like this. Uh, as sprinters are born like this, uh, climbers are uh, structured in a, in a in, in a way, uh, also the all-rounders are born like this. Uh, you are just capable of doing a little bit of everything. And then, of course, if you want to specialize a little bit in something, you can still do it, but you will be still good a little bit in everything like yeah. I am. I don't know. I don't really know the, the tip or the answer. It's just me. I'm just, just born named. with it. Yeah. yeah. And what is, I really like knowing the answer to this, what is your favorite training session? Uh, I like Apart the... from sprinting to town signs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like when we, when we climb and we have to do the 4020s or like those three minutes effort, uh, stuff like that. They, yeah, they're nice. I mean, nobody likes it, but in a, some some way you like it because you know that you are getting the work done. Mm. I feel like it's the sort of thing that you don't enjoy when you're doing it, but after you finish, you feel quite good. Yeah, exactly. I mean, of course, everybody would like uh, to eat a pizza instead because nobody likes to suffer for three minutes uh, full gas on a climb. But after you've been doing them, you're, you feel like satisfied because you feel like maybe you improved a bit or you did your, uh, your power that you were expecting, and, uh, and then it's, uh, it's a good feeling afterwards. And who do you think is one of the best all-round cyclists in the women's peloton at the moment? Apart from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I think um, Demi Vollering is a very good all-rounder cyclist. And we're obviously out here in the UAE, and I'd say this is a race that is suited to an all-rounder, has a bit of everything. Is this a race we're going to see you on the podium? 
Uh, well, first I have to climb up Jabella Fate with uh, all the tiny ones, so... Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I will tell you in four or five days. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for Thank your time. You. Well, there you have it. Some tips from one of the best all-rounders in the women's peloton. It's been super interesting chatting to Elisa today. And I just wish I was good at everything. But if you want to see how she gets on at the UAE Tour, then make sure to head over to GCN Plus to watch the racing live and on demand from the 9th till the 12th of February. Now I'm off to find some town signs to sprint for.